Hi, I'm Bob Gallagher, the mayor of the city of Bettendorf, Iowa. Today is Friday, December 23rd. Happy holiday season from the city of Bettendorf. Today we have an honor and privilege to say goodbye, at least in terms of his professional work with the city, to Scott Webster, our fifth ward alderman. And Scott joins us today on the mayor's message. Scott, thanks for being here. Thank you. So Tuesday night, we had an opportunity to say goodbye to Scott, and he made the last vote on the last thing that we did on Tuesday night. Now we get to hear from him just a little bit about what his work here was like and what he hopes to accomplish as our state senator in District 47. So Scott, what made you want to be a city council person in the first place eight years ago? Uh, I think a lot of it was trying to bring a different viewpoint as being a little bit younger of a person who has never really been involved in government before, um, grew up in Bettendorf, and wanted to do something that was given back to the community, helping citizens. And I always thought there was a uh, opportunity there to give back. And, you know, I always kind of say, you want to make a mark, but you don't want to make a stain. And <laughs> well, that's, that's what I tried to do. Uh, that's a good way to look at it. And you certainly made a mark and not a stain. We're very proud of the work that you've done and happy that you get to go to Des Moines now as our state senator. Um, what are some of the things that you learned as a council person that you think might transfer well to the state house? Um, you got to be part of a team and you got to figure out how to get people to understand your viewpoint. And you got to do that in a professional, polite way um, and gain people's trust because trust is all you have when you're sitting up there uh, at the table. And as long as you're trustworthy to those people and, and you're willing to help them and you're willing to listen when they have concerns, um, that passes through to when you have a concern. And, you know, if you if you gain those friends on your votes when you have something very important um, that you need done for your ward or you feel is very important for the entire city, um, that'll get you places. When you um, sit at a council table and you think you're a one man show and you can do whatever you want to do and you know, forget about that, that's when you don't get anything done. Well, I'll tell you, it's been a, a privilege to see your growth because I think you did come in as one of our yep. younger council people. You did have some great ideas and there was a learning curve to figure out how to navigate something that there's no school for, right? Yeah. We, we, we kind of help mold you along the way as a team, but to see your growth and your understanding of find your friends, make those phone calls, figure out what's important, Use your capital yep. on those things that are important and maybe not so much on some that aren't so yep. important. So talk to us about the big move. What made you think it would be a great opportunity if I was the state senator in the 47th district? Uh, the mayor talked me into it. <laughs> uh, I, I think that Bettendorf... Um, some truth to that. <laughs> it, it, it is a really great run city and I've learned from you. I've learned from all the council members and I think... Um, we come from a little bit different atmosphere. We're not a big, big city, uh, but we're not a small city either. Right. And learning those things from all the different council members, I think, makes us uniquely um, a little bit more educated when we go up there, a little bit um, more know-how as to how to basically build those relationships and get things done. And we deal with small town things, but yet we deal with big town things. Absolutely. Um, especially when we talk about the region. Um, we get into items that are happening region, regional wise. So we get a broad aspect of experience at the city of Bettendorf. And we also are a team and we know how to get things done real well. And I think I've been taught enough of that that I think it transitions over to the state pretty well. Well, I think those lessons certainly will, but don't lose your youthful, uh, you know, go-getter attitude, because that also is a part of your personality and your passion, not only for your neighborhood in the fifth ward, but you never held yourself out as do it for my ward. You were a city guy, and we need you to go be a city guy uh, and, a, and a bright, shining star that you will be for us as a senator in Des Moines. It's been a pleasure and an honor to work with you and to call you my friend. And likewise. Thank you. Have a great weekend.